Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and going blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for, you know, opening up your hearts and your minds to the divine, you know, to, you know, the Senate masters and, you know, going into your, your gift and embracing it. The unknown, I know it can be hard at times, but you you know, you're taking that chance on yourself and what you need to do. Don't ever settle yourself short. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you feel like you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift, and, um, how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Plus, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. So also, thank you so much for the love and support. I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, my video that I'm using, my meditation music that I'm listening to today is 639 Hertz. Miracle music attract, connect, harmonize relationships and love manifest meditation. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas that are single, please listen to this video. Yes, you know, there's a lot. I haven't did one of those before. So it's just, I always, you know, I'll be watching some of these, you know, um, YouTube videos. You know, they deal with celebrities and stuff like that. And, you know, you look at some of the crazy stuff people go through, you know, and it's, they're going through the same thing we, we go through, but theirs is just more public with it. And, you know, I give out like good advice especially from the things that i've gone through and you know i've seen certain situations i think can bring up you no know, certain celebrities but you know um if you keep up with some celebrities you probably catch on who i'm talking about but you know i hate to see somebody going through something they sell themselves short because i've been there before you know on the side of weakness you try to do anything and everything for the person you with because you love them you you know you you change your hair or you know you you, you try to accommodate them on certain things and you know, sometimes it's, it's just that we put lifetime expectations on seasonal people. And I know y'all probably heard me say that before, but it's true. You know, I've been in situations like that, been in mental relationships longer than I was supposed to. You know, learning what I can learn from those people. And, you know, sometimes we can go through really hurtful situations and we'll come up and say, oh, I wish I never met this person. Anybody that comes in your life is not by mere chance or accidents or coincidence coincidence no matter what you have experienced in that relationship whether if it's a casual relationship or it was something serious you learn things off of people every day learn things off of people from every experience and it allows you to grow stronger you know you're never supposed to sell yourself short to make somebody else's happy your happiness should not um be your happiness should not be cut, cut short just for somebody to make somebody else is happy and we, sometimes we do that a sign of weakness and i had to say that to certain certain celebrities that you know i really love you know watching the things that they have out or whatever but you know there's a certain times i've seen oh my gosh this is so it has to be embarrassing to be in a situation like this because it's showing sign of weakness especially when you have children and i had to learn that because it's like in my situation and I constantly tell my children I never want you to be in a situation like me I want you to learn from my mistakes and I'm gonna make sure you learn from my mistakes because I never want to see you go through situations like this but you know when we when we wish like oh I wish I never met that, him or I wish I never met her you always have to look at it like this when you can be in a very toxic situation whether you know it, it could be a man or a female because it's not just men it there's toxic females out there too and i've had my toxic ways you know because i can say some real hateful stuff and make you you know forget about your existence make you probably want to kill me or something like that but you know it you know we all been held at fault because we've been hurt you know, you go through situations and you know, let your bad experience help you learn to grow, let you become stronger. You know, sometimes people stay in situations because they feel like they can't find nobody else. Yes, you can. There's, you have to be able to, um, 
learn how to heal from this situation. I've seen a lot of people, you know, jump in one relationship just to get over the next person. You can't do that because you're bringing that same old packing, uh, you know, same, you know, luggage, you know, towards another relationship. And you shouldn't do that because you're going to, like, if you've been hurt and you actually come across a good guy or a good girl, you're going to put on the same situation that you, the last person did you wrong at. And you're making them pay for something they had nothing to do with. And you're going to end up costing yourself out some loyalty. Or some people cheat. You know, when people cheat like that, and I try to tell people, when somebody cheats on you, and you know you have gave it your all, you've been loyal, you've been faithful, you had their back, they're cheating yourself out on loyalty. And that has nothing to do with you. You should never take it personal. Um, and even though as our human selves, we will take it personal because you like, what did I do? You know, it makes me proud when I hear people like Cardi B say she'll look into the mirror and see, you know, his consistency made her flaw, make her look like she was flawed because of his inconsistency. That ain't had nothing to do with her. And it didn't. It had nothing to do with her. It's just insecurities about somebody else. You know, and it's like if you've been cheated on, you, you know, we just figure out like, okay, what did I do? Or, you know, if you were doing stuff and they kept on trying to tell you, hey, we need to fix this, we need to fix this, and you never did, then there's a situation you set yourself up for. It. But, you know, I feel like if it's that time that you feel like you need to cheat, you need to get out of a relationship, you shouldn't, you know, put something like that on somebody because that's karmatic. You, you end up getting that mess back. And, you know, I might not get it right now, but you'll, you know, you know, if somebody cheats on you and you knew you did everything you were supposed to do, don't worry because as soon as they get into a situation and they're going to be in the same boat as you, or loyal, everything is going to happen right back to them just because people have a weird thing about doing things to people and not thinking that, you know, you're going to end up putting the things you were pushing out to people is going to come right back on you. So, you know, allow the situations, whether if it was good or bad, you know, or especially bad, allow that to help you grow. Um, a lot of people are like, I've gone through, you know, f friends or whatever. I said, I'm okay with being single. I'm fine. You know, because some friends will be out there and some family will be like, girl, you need to put yourself out there. No, I'm good. <laughs> I said, I'm working on me right now. I don't need to complicate my life. When I see other people doing what they're doing, that make me glad I'm celibate. It makes me so glad and I appreciate myself a lot more because I know if I have my standards on certain people, if I don't have nothing to bring to the table, I ain't trying to step myself up into it. But I know what I want in relationship because I told people before somebody can ask me that years ago and I couldn't honestly tell them what I wanted I just like the fact of being in a relationship to be in a relationship and that's not good enough you need to know exactly what you are looking for in a relationship because nobody else can't tell you that and then when they when you when that's your response that if they're one of those people that can be narcissistic because with us being empaths we attract that <laughs> we will attract a narcissistic person anyway, and they will feed into your weakness and they will use it against you. So you have to be able to respect yourself and love yourself enough to know, you know, hey, I I'm not going to accept this. I'm not going to deal with that. And you know how to walk away no matter how much it is because it's going to kill you more to stay around in a situation you don't need to be in. So it's just like with you being a Hayoka, we already know things. We know when people are lying to us. We know when things don't sound right or whatever. Um... But you go through those things. Know your worth. You know, I've also made comments about celebrities and say, oh, I love such and such, but she needs to learn her worth or he needs to learn his. Because, you know, you try to make sure, you know, make somebody try to, with, you know, marry them or whatever for the wrong reasons because you don't want to see them with nobody else while you sit up here getting played. You know, and it's bad enough it is when you get played, but when you get played and you're a celebrity and that messes all out on social media, it's really not a good thing because that is embarrassing. You need to know your worth. Know that, you know, let yourself heal because I've even seen people I know that I love so dearly, you know, just scared to be by themselves so they just deal with somebody just so they don't have to be alone but you're not giving yourself that time to heal you need to learn yourself being able to say okay what is this situation t teach me what is the lesson i had to get out of that and it's just like now you know don't sit up here and say oh this and this and that and talk negative about a person you can just say okay i went with this person and they did this and this and that to me that's just let me know this is nothing i want in a man or this is nothing i want in a woman and you know a lot of people are like oh well i'm not gonna find this person i'm not gonna be able to you know i'm gonna be by myself forever if you're pushing that out to the universe then that's gonna happen or if you know if you're so dead set against the things that 
you know, you're you're not pretty enough or you're not handsome enough, so nobody's not gonna love me for me. You have to be able to see yourself in a better light. You have know that okay i might not be dating nobody right now but this gives me that time to fix myself learn myself heal you know love myself a lot better have that self-respect to know that you know if somebody mistreats me or they can't give me the respect that i'm giving them i gotta learn to walk away and that's a lot of things that you know like with my last situation you now it taught me so much now somebody else try to play the okie doke on me i already know what to look for there's time i told my ex you are such a blessing to me because it lets me know everything that i do not want in the man or everything to look for when i know somebody trying to play something on me because those situations you're put in karmatic situations like that for you to be able to learn so it's just like when you're you're a Hayoka or you're just not you, you could just be a regular empath or just a person and you have went through breakups that is a hurtful feeling but that gives you that time to heal don't be in a relationship just because you want a fact of being in a relationship because that's not going to work you know a lot of times we f try to fill our voids um like our sexual habits there's a lot of people i know that you know have sex just because they're trying to fill a void and i mean number one that's dangerous anyway because you never know what people are carrying number two you can't fill a void by filling a void you have to fill that void within yourself you're never going to find something in somebody else if you're not giving it to yourself first when you're able to love yourself and know that things are coming for you, then you can be able to do that. Because it's just like with my situation with my twin, it's like anytime I'm, uh, you know, when I, even though he's in the spiritual realm because he passed away, and, you know, it's not even on that level, but just the level of love. You know, when I'm hurt, you know, when I'm feeling sad or lonely, I had to stop that. Like, I need to be able to find that within myself. You know, that's what Twin Flame is for, to show you things that you need to hold yourself on a bar for you know be able to know that hey i deserve better i deserve this i deserve that i'm not gonna let nobody treat me any kind of way but you know if you're single right now give yourself that time to heal and know yourself and know what the things you truly need in in a relationship to make them work so much love to you i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and um i will give my shout out to val culver um, much love to you. I hope I said your last name right. I apologize if I didn't. And Miss Mickey. Much love to you as well. And my little Sophia. I love y'all. So I hope y'all have a blessed day. And I will talk to you later. Know that you are truly blessed, highly loved, and forever favored. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. So as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Give me a thumbs up, like, and you can share. You know, drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.